Hello and welcome to episode 410. We're going to be locking the player's movement using attributes. And it's such a quick one, and I think that's pretty self-explanatory, that we're not going to have an intro, because we're just going to lock the player in place. Right. Let us have... We'll say this is lock. And the first thing I'm going to do, actually, is get my current defaults. So let's do attribute for me, and let's do movement speed. Okay, movement speed. Let's spell that wrong, because that's always fun. Now we can already see we need generic movement speed. There we go. We could have tabbed, but we didn't. And I'm just going to say get. Oh, well, that's an interesting number. 0 0.1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Let's just call that 0 0.1. I think that's going to be accurate enough. So 0 0.1 for speed. So probably doing unlock first would make sense. And we don't have to remember these numbers. So let's do unlock. Attribute. For me, my generic dot movement underline speed. We will base set to 0 0.1, uh, done, and I'm going to copy that and put it in there, make it chain always active, and now we're going to do jump, jump something, jump strength, there we go, jump strength, what is my default, let's just copy that jump strength there, copy, let's get our other command we used, and let's Let's get our jump strength. Oh, wow. 0 0.4199. Okay. Well, I think we'll call that 0 0.42, maybe. We should be a chain. Always active. I oh, see. We didn't actually save the changes. Okay. Jump base. And what we're going to call that 0 0.42. Right. So if I press that, everything should pretty much be the same. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Now let's do the lock. So we'll take this. We'll copy it. We'll pop you in there, done. We'll control middle mouse that one and pop you there. And we're just going to change it to zero, done. Zero, done. Now, if I press that button, I am not going to be able to move. So let's just be a little bit safe. Let's get the coordinates of this block. Uh, copy them. Okay, so worst comes to the worst, I can put a redstone block there and power the unlock line. Let's lock. Now it's going to change the field of view, um, which I don't really like, but I can't jump now and I can't move. Uh, I am definitely locked in place. I can look around. There's, no, I don't think there's really much we can do about that. You can teleport them, so they're always facing one direction, but uh, not the band. Um, but the problem there is it's very jerky if they do try to move. So I am locked and I can look around. I can't move. If I double tap space, I will jump because I'm in creative. So I can actually do that and then I'm free. But I think as soon as I land again, yeah, I'm stuck. Let's put it into survival. Yeah, I can't jump. Can't, yeah. All I can do is look around. There we go. We've got nice and simple. We've locked the player's movement. Can I reach that button? No. Well, then it's lucky that we saved that. I suppose I could fly over there again, couldn't I? But why not demonstrate? It's all sometimes nice to, uh, there we go, to save, the, um, to plan ahead so we don't get stuck. There we go. Right, let's try not to waffle because I've got a busy, busy day, as you probably guessed, because this video is late, I believe. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Okay. Right, there we go. We're locking the player movement. I'd like to come up with a better one. It'd be great if you didn't change the field of view. And it'd be really nice if you could just lock them facing in a direction without using teleport. But um, I don't think we can. I think bedrock, if you're bedrock, you don't have to be disappointed. Because in bedrock, you can cancel the player inputs, I believe. Which just sounds pretty cool. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.